it's always good to maximize the window and now you are writing okay what is this why, why turn up like this what why turn up capital ah this key block majus is caps lock oh. and when you press here yeah. you get it on or off now is off okay, okay. and i press this key yeah. and it goes on and now all letters are capitals okay i'm going to delete um when i'm writing i'm gonna write anything just for show yeah. when i finish a line it goes automatically to the next line okay yeah. and when I want to change or finish the paragraph, I just press the intro key. This one is intro, so it goes to the next paragraph. Well, okay? Sometimes it, uh, it comes out to that before I finish. Like here? Yeah. Hmm? So, is it because uh, I okay. touched it? I touched no, 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 no. M maybe you press intro. If you press into it goes down, but sometimes, like here, yeah. it goes down before you finish the line. Yeah. It's normal because the next word doesn't fit on the line, okay? So it goes automatically to the next line. Yeah. So let's do some selecting. If I want the text perfect with perfect alignment to the left and to the right, I select everything. Click here, go down, and then here I have four buttons for uh, aligning the text. Now it's aligned to the left, okay? So all the all the lines are to the left. If I click on center, all the lines align to the center. So it's the same space here and here, okay? In all the lines. And I can align it to the right too. Hmm? Now they are all aligned to the right. Okay? okay? But the best way to to get the text done is justify. Justify get the lines uh, aligning to the left and to the right. Okay? So I can write another paragraph. Wait, touch something. Another paragraph. Now it's automatically aligning to the to the same way it was the the prior paragraph. Okay, it's aligning to the it's justified. Okay, what more things can I change? Well, I showed you the other day how to change. I select. I can change the. The font, the size, mm -hmm. italic, the color. What more can I do? Align the text. What is for? Oh. Well, when you click this button, you get a new window. Hmm? This is called a dialog window because uh, it asks you for some data and till you haven't written the things you want, it doesn't close. So here you got this window to put the indentation. I'm gonna put three here, four here, the first line one. The indentation is the distance between the margin, this is the margin, and the text. Okay? So here is the indentation, left, right, 
and the first line and you can change the spacing between the lines just clicking here and we can go to two hmm? and then you click OK and it changes only the paragraph that is selected OK only that one this is the indentation it's easier to change it here because you can write a number okay now you have this window you can change it and then you click OK and you're done the other way is moving the you can move this uh, little icons to change the indentation but that's and let's do a funny thing to finish you can put a picture hmm? if you click on one of these buttons when it has a triangle here it goes down okay so it shows you something I'm gonna insert a picture which one this one Hmm? and you can make a little I don't know uh, lost cut hmm? do you remember how to save yeah, yeah. Okay. here yeah. Ooh, ooh, it doesn't ask for a name if it doesn't ask for a name, you can click here, here, up, and save us. Hmm? When you save us, it asks you for a new name. Okay? So I can link this lost cut and save. Okay? To move in the text because the page is like this you can use this uh, vertical bar to move down and up yeah. hmm? you can do it with this too okay yeah. now it's safe okay <laughs>